Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about the process of DNA replication. Um, we're going to start with DNA, which this should all be, uh, shouldn't be new. You should already know this from a couple lectures back, just talking about when we talk, think about um, nucleic acids. So we're going to talk about DNA. Remember, it's composed of a uh, phosphate, sugar, and a base. You have the different bases adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine, and then we have uracil. That's only an RNA, not in DNA, okay? So first we're gonna talk about today about DNA replication. So we're gonna talk about these four bases, A, G, C, and T. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine. Again, this should be um, our review for you, so I'm not gonna get into detail on this. Um, so this is how our bases uh, connect. So we have our DNA, which is a double helix shape. And uh, we have the A and the T connecting with, remember these hydrogen bonds? Um, that's probably from like week one. Um, some weak hydrogen bonds that we could get in there and, and separate the strand. And I'll tell you why in a bit. But basically it's a double helix uh, shape um, and structure of our DNA. Okay, with the different letters, combinations, and bases. That's what makes it unique. unique. So here's the phosphate, the sugar, and the base. Um, so one thing to notice is the three end and the five end. Remember, this is kind of like flipped. Um, you have the three end over here. It starts with the sugar, the base, and the phosphate. You have the five end that starts with the phosphate, then the base, and the sugar. Okay, if you see on the bottom over here, there's no phosphate on the three end. There's no phosphate on the three end. Uh, it ends on the five end. And why? Because instead of strands being like this, they're kind of like this. They're complementary. Okay, um, again with the hydrogen, hydrogen bonds in between. So little shout out to Miss Rosalind Franklin. That's the image she found. And saying that DNA is a double helix. Um, all right, so what we need to get to, it's gonna be a short video. So the importance, DNA replication, okay? Um, you have the parent molecule or you have the DNA that we're talking about. Then we're going to separate DNA in two strands, and then we're going to make a copy on each side, okay? That way we have two DNAs that are semi-conservative. Remember, through whole mitosis and meiosis, uh, we needed to make copies of those chromosomes in order to make new cells, okay? So that's the whole purpose of DNA replication, to replicate DNA to make two new copies, okay? And then we're going to talk about the process in a little bit. Um, basically, you end up with two copies, which are semi-conservative. That means they have half conserved, half the original, and half of the copy. Okay, Half the original and half of the copy. Okay? That's DNA replication. Okay, To create two semi-conservative um, DNAs, DNA copies. Right. Uh, how many times does replication occur on the cell cycle? It occurs once. It occurs once. One time in the S phase, if you remember from our images that we have. Okay. Replication occurs one time on the S phase. Create two semi conservative DNA strands. Okay. Now, here is there's a lot of videos on DNA replication, and they're pretty cool. They're just animated, they'll last like three minutes if you want to look them up. Um, but it's a, it's a basic process, okay? Um, so basically what happens is um, you have what's called a primase, okay? So you have a primase, which is an enzyme um, that inserts a primer. And then the primer is basically the starting point of replication. Okay. So you have a primase, then it's a primer. Um, the primer is the starting point of replication. So here it is. Um, so you're going to have, um, first, we need to separate the whole DNA. Okay. Um, so let me jump the gun a little bit. So we're going to add here DNA helicase separates the double uh, stranded. DNA, okay, so kind of right in the middle, it's going to cut it off, right, um, so maybe I should live with these steps, DNA helicase separated, the primase, um, the enzyme is going to insert the primer, 
okay? So being a helix if it's a bit, here it is. This one's better, okay? So here's helicase, kind of like unzipping, just a little green molecule. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. Okay, let's work with this, okay? So it's like unzipping or unwinding the whole DNA in, the, in here, okay? Just splitting it in half, opening it up so everything else could come in and read each side, okay? Um, so it reads, let me add it up here, reads three prime to five prime and produces five prime to three prime. Okay, what does that mean? It reads from the three to the five and produces five to the three. Okay, so it starts reading over here. So this is on top, we have the five prime. So on this side, we're gonna have the three prime over here. Okay, so it's gonna read from the three to the five, and it's gonna produce from the five to the three. So why is that important? Um, because on the bottom, remember how it's flipped? So it could only read so much. Um, it's gonna read from left to right. So once this is unzipped, it's gonna go in there and read a little bit because it's going the other way, and then it has to come back. And the more that's unzipped, read from there, produce a little bit, and then come back. The more it's unzipped, read from there, and produce a little bit, okay? So we got the two different strands. This is called the leading strand, the one that's continuous throughout, and we have the lagging strand, the one that's underneath, or the one that lags, the one that's cut into pieces or copied in pieces, okay? Um, so we have a lot of little proteins in here around that I'm gonna try to add here. Okay, so the primase, so it's a primer. Here's your little primer in red. So this is where it starts. Primase, poof, puts in the primer in there. And then um, and then you're going to have a DNA polymerase, which is going to come in and start adding base by base. Here's a perfect example of that. Um, here's a primer, and here's polymerase, adding one letter, another letter. And it's going to go another letter, and then another letter, okay? Um, so that's what it does. It's just adding letter by letter by letter by letter. It's DNA polymerase 3, okay? So primase enzyme then inserts a primer. Primer is a starting point. And then we have uh, DNA polymerase 3, or let's just do, begins um, adding bases. So that's, here's another one, DNA poly 3. It's adding bases on the leading strand all the way across. Okay, so remember, you know, the leading versus the lagging. Those are the two different ones, leading versus lagging. Okay, DNA polymerase adds, adds the bases, and uh, and that's how we're making a copy, a whole copy of the top part of the DNA, and then we're going to make copies of the bottom half of the DNA as well. So you're going to see a lot of primers because, as we said, it starts where it unwinds and it has to go back, and then it has to go back, and then it has to go back, okay? Um, a couple more terms, uh, DNA polymerase 3, okay, it starts adding the bases, and then DNA poly 1, poly uh, 1 removes the primers, um, or the starting points, if you like the red ones, it's going to remove those little starting points, it's going to add the, the original bases that we need in blue. So kind of in red, it removes those red ones and it's adding those blue, adding those blue ones. Bases, okay, on the primary part. And then we have what's called DNA ligase. And DNA ligase glues the fragments, Okasaki fragments. They're called Okasaki fragments, okay. What are those Okasaki? These little pieces of those, uh, copies of DNA that DNA that uh, those bases that DNA polymerase put in there okay um, so th since we're doing it in fractions in little pieces pieces by pieces we got to glue them all together so DNA ligase is going to go in and glue all those little pieces together to create one big continuous strand of DNA okay um, yeah and that's the whole thing of, of uh, the whole process of DNA replication it's actually uh, very simple Okay, so you start with your DNA. Um, here's another image as well. You start with DNA, then you start uh, the replication or the replication fork is where the, um, the helicase is in there and separating everything. And you have the bases are added on both sides. And then you end up with two daughter DNA molecules or two semi-conservative copies of DNA. Okay, and uh, that's it for DNA replication.